Hi everybody, Falana Wynn here at the Owl House in Palm Desert, California. So I want to have a little conversation with you about energy and frequency and art and how these wonderful things can come together to create a really wonderful way of expressing emotion in a way that's fun and enlightening as well. So if you can imagine in your mind that you are, let's say, just a big old battery, big energy resource, and that sometimes battery just runs out of energy, and sometimes it's very high vibe energy, and sometimes it's very static or moving energy, our bodies collect energy, and they collect the energy of emotions. So let's say that, um, let's say that you were in Starbucks and you bopped on into Starbucks and you were having a great day and you kind of parked yourself in line behind someone who was standing in front of you who was having a really bad day. Not only do you perhaps feel their energy, you're aware of their energy. And sometimes what happens is that'll trigger us to go, well, maybe I'm not having that good of a day. So today's adventure is looking at what patterns your emotions have and what kind of like radio signals or frequencies your emotions may have. And let me tell you how we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it with this wonderful form which has six bodies on it. The first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be calling out six different positive emotions. For example, in this particular one, there's curious, love, awake, flowing, spiritual, happy. And your job is to create patterns, energy patterns that represent curious or love, happy, okay? Then we're gonna take another sheet and we're gonna look at emotions that may be more challenging. And let's say, for example, this was brokenness, angry, non-trust, disappointed, wanky, <laughs> and impatient. You're gonna use uh, colored pencils to be able to do these designs. And what you're gonna find is that when you put them together, you have two very different sheets of emotion, which is great fun. Now, why would we do that? Because we're gonna take it a step further. Once you kind of go into that place of what would the pattern be in the radio signal or the channel be in my body when it was really angry, what color would it be? Would it be jagged lines? Would it be striped lines? How would it feel in my body, right? Once you identify those, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make hybrids where half of your body is negative and half is positive. Why do we do this? We do it just for artistic sake, that's all. Something interesting to look at when you combine emotions and you can see how you'll be stepping out into life perhaps with multiple emotions just on the surface waiting to be triggered by the guy or the gal having a bad day at Starbucks. To tie this art piece together. The last piece you'll see is a large body that is a combination of all of the emotions that you had used on your other sheets. And the purpose of this sheet is to show this is what humanity looks like. This is what we look like at any one given day. There's a lot of belief systems that, gee, if I'm not happy all the time, I'm broken. Or if I'm broken all the time, I'm never going to figure it out. Part of being human is having a multitude of emotions. This is what we are, this is how we're made up. So the next time that you're creating a piece of art, you'll be able to see some of the emotion that comes through your art and how it ends up kind of coming forward and showing up on either the canvas or the watercolor paper or even just the markers. So the idea behind doing emotions and patterns is to be able to come in touch with the frequency of your energy and to be able to see 
what radio signals you're putting off so you can play with that emotion and you can regulate it. So let's say, for example, you're having an angry day and you know from your drawing that you're reading red and you're reading all jagged lines and all over the place. Well, in your mind's eye, if you took a breath and you went within or if you took a moment to meditate, you could change all those jagged lines to rounded lines in your mind. Count to 10. Bring that line work into more of a softer, more of a feminine form so it's not so choppy, right? We'll use anything in, in creative arts therapy in order to regulate emotions so that you have control over what waves can kind of affect you when you're out in the world. You know, it's a lot easier sometimes to have a very protected bubble that we live in. And in that bubble, we feel safe, perhaps. And in that bubble, we feel like we're the queen or the king of our domain. But when we step out into the world, we're colliding with frequencies of other people having good days or bad days. And so if we make a piece of art about it, then it allows you to kind of come into some form of regulation of making it an interesting thing versus I'm broken today because I'm having a bad day or I'm too happy and I have to watch out. All the emotions, they are always sliding and moving and that's the beauty of being human. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with, you know. Um, there'll be a link for the PDF of the body forms and if not, create your own. Again, you're using paper, you're using colored pencils or, or highlighters or markers. And if you want to use watercolor and you want to use paint, that's even better as well. But either way, in this moment of now, this is just an exercise to kind of allow emotions to rise and flow and to be able to kind of ride the waves of frequencies as we kind of go through an interesting time on the planet right now. I'm sending you love. I'm Buana Wynn from Buana.com. Enjoy the art process. Let it flow. Put on some great music. And I think you'll be surprised at what you find. Sending you so much love. Mm -hmm.